Hi, Judy from Witch Peacecraft. Welcome back to Rock 2022 AU. It is August the 1st and time for our first album for August. But like normal, before we discuss August, we'll have a bit of a review on July. My apologies, I am very breathless this afternoon. Um, it's not usually this bad. It's probably because I've been busy at work. The COVID is still hanging around in my body. <laughs> Never mind. So July, there were um, lots of lovely, unique pictures posted, some great ideas. We did um, Bruce Springsteen's Born in the USA, and we celebrated Christmas in the July with Elvis. Um, I thought there would be more Christmas projects, but not. There was a great variety of project, and it was awesome to see them. We have about 16 people in our participant prize draw. That seems to be where we've settled out for the moment. And I will do that prize draw at the end of the video, along with the prize draw for the Pattern um, Ravelry Prize that was on the last Rock 2022 AU video. It was to celebrate Christmas in July. So it's a $10 Pattern Prize from Ravelry as a gift to someone. I'll use the YouTube random comment picker and that will be at the end of the video too. So make sure you watch the video to the end and congratulate the winners. That would be nice. Haven't done it yet. Got to do it. Take a deep breath. So my um, projects for July, I decided that I had reached the limit on my zigzag blanket for the size that I want. I've still got to finish it off and put a border on it. I also decided I was going to have a lot of squares for this stained glass blanket and worked out I could make two lap gans for charity. I may have to do a few more extra squares, but this July I decided I would do one with black border and one with white border. So for Born in the USA, this was my square with the white. And for Christmas in July with Elvis, this was my square. So yeah, you'll sometimes see white and you'll sometimes see black. But they are my projects for July. So we are moving into August and the end of the year is coming fast. Sorry, just got to take a deep breath. So for August, we wrecked our brains. All three of us here, Reeves, Thing, myself. On my planning list, I had nothing for the first that I could think of. And then I was talking to my son in London during the heat wave that they're having. And he was saying that he's not as used to it as he used to be. He's been in London too long, um, but still he was better off than most. Um, London and England aren't designed for the heat waves we get here in the tropics. Their buildings are very closed in and on top of each other. And yeah, whereas we're designed for light, airy, lots of room to let the air flow. And of course, we have air conditioning because we have long, hot, wet seasons with humidity. The best time of year, if you decide you want to visit Far North Queensland, is July. June, July, August and the beginning of September. The weather is beautiful and mild, often sunny with very little rain and a lot of things to do without humidity, very low humidity. So there's my travel tip. If you want to come to Australia and visit far north Queensland, they are the best months to do it. And most of the other tourists around the world know that. So August, we racked our brain and we're talking to Adrian about the heat and I was listening to videos where people in the Northern Hemisphere in USA and Canada were saying how hot it is. And bingo, I thought of an album I had. So what do you think it is, August? It is Neil Diamond's, I don't know why I keep getting that light, Hot August Night. That's our first album for August, Neil Diamond's double album, Hot August Night. I'll just put it down. So yes. I thought it would be a great album to look at. We have I haven't done a lot of research because I know talking really makes me breathless and you don't really want to hear that. However, we have Hot August Night is a 1972 live double album by Neil Diamond. The album is a recording of Diamond concert on August the 24th, 1972, one of 10 
sold out concerts that Diamond performed that month at the Greek Theatre in Los Angeles. It was one of the biggest selling albums of all time in Australia. Top 20 songs of Neil Diamond. What do you think comes in at number one? Sweet Caroline. Yes, that comes in as a number one favourite. For me, it brings back great memories of my previous job. I had a bar attendant, Caroline, who's lovely and calm and sweet. And she'd worked there for years. And um, I only left about a year after I left. Um, and yeah, she was a lot of fun. Very tolerant because the boys would come back to the bowls club after winning championships. And after a copious amounts of amber fluid, they would sing to her, Sweet Caroline. Then they would finish up with me singing, Hey Jude. Look, I don't think we ever lost our cool because it was always fun and well-intentioned. And I know she sort of got a kick out of the fact that they always remembered to sing it to her. So that's a great memory of Neil Diamond music for me. I don't have a particular favourite song of his. Um, I like them all. Sweet Caroline was actually written for his wife, Marsha, I think her name is. But when he did the lyrics, Marsha didn't work and he decided on Caroline. But it is a song written for his wife, who he married at the time. Yeah, I like all his music. I would have loved to have seen him live in the 70s when he was at the peak of his career. I think he would have been awesome. Um, he's 81 years of age now and still going strong. So there you have it. Not all rock stars die young. Um, what else have I got in my notes? I didn't have a lot, like I said. Um, so, to inspire your project, of course, is the cover. Now, there is blue denim. It has like these colours down the sides, some orange and some yellows. And yes, that will inspire your project. There's nothing on the back that's of real significance that will help you. There is a guitar if you want to make a guitar. But guys, not only the cover can inspire you. Of course, the name Diamond. Diamond are, diamonds are a girl's best friend. So you could make a project that involves diamonds. Or you can let some of his music inspire you. For example, Cherry Cherry. Cherry's a great colour. Or Red Red Wine. There are lots of red wine colours you can pick. Or what else did I write down that I thought was a great song? Forever in Blue Jeans. Imagine the denim ranges of colours of blue you could use. Or Crackling Rosy. Or a lot of people say Crackling Rose, but it's actually Crackling Rosy. I think of all the roses my dad used to grow for my mum with her favourite colour being yellow. So there you have it. You've got music, you've got the album cover, the name Diamond, or you can be inspired by the August weather where you live. You could something do something that reflects the weather in August where you live. If you have hot August nights, Maybe that's your inspiration. For me, August is an awesome month. It is the perfect month to live in the tropics. So I don't think I've got much else I can share with you other than, wait, are you a Neil Diamond fan? Did you ever see him live? Um, and what's your favourite Neil Diamond song? please leave a comment below and share it with us. It's always great to share other people's memories. It's really nice when music creates great memories. So guys, from me, stay well, stay safe, and remember, peace be with you. It's time to do a pattern prize draw for Christmas in July. Straighten that up a bit. We have 19 unique comments. Good luck, everyone. Penny, little bits of yarn. Penny, you have won yourself a $10 pattern prize on Ravelry. Um, just email me. If Ravelry is a problem for you, let me know in the email and we'll come to some arrangement. 
but you can check out patterns on Ravelry to the value of ten dollars. Congratulations! So everyone, make sure you congratulate our winners and enjoy doing the project for August with Hot August Nights. Bye for now. Time for our participant prize draw for Rock 2022 AU for July. Good luck, everyone. Lee Armstrong. Lee Armstrong is our participant prize winner. Lee, if you could email me and we can arrange a prize for you to receive. Thank you for participating. I love all the mittens you're making and the earrings this month were gorgeous. Congratulations, Lee.